All right, what we have for you here today is a comparison between PIR camera and radars. And what we're showing here is the use case in front of your house. You want to use a detection method for motion detection for switching on lights. But your property is on the street or in a walkway. People are passing by, cars are passing by at night. And then if you have PIR or camera, they might just trigger based on whatever they see. And the advantage we have with radar is it only triggers once we are stepping into the area of interest that we can really clearly define as a numerical value. You don't have to tweak sensitivities, tilt the sensor, or put any covers on it or anything. It's just a value that you set, and then that's what it does. Radar doesn't necessarily need to replace these technologies completely. It can also work together with them in a sense of fusion. So in the example of a camera, that means you could use the radar as a trigger. And that would give you a much easier image processing on the camera side. It reduces the storage requirements that you have because you're not constantly recording. And you only trigger the camera when something of interest enters the zone that you have defined based on the distance.